going on everybody it's about mid 10 outdoors with chloe this is our last adventure of her being a high schooler well also before i'm 18. before she's 18. <laughs> see behind me it's gorgeous we're at cumberland falls state park in kentucky but uh we're checking out the park checking out the falls which is you know we'll roll that in here at the end but uh we're gonna go back up and hit the gift gift shop, and then I don't know what we're gonna do from there. But anyway, we'll show you the cabin too here in a second, in a little bit. Also, we're keeping count of how many Dollar Generals we see, so we'll be updating. Yeah, the very last video will give you grand total. We'll give you grand total for today. Well, today uh, we're at eight. Eight. Yeah, eight or nine. Nine Dollar Generals. So. We'll see. All right, we'll see in a little bit. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me. I saw no shadow, I looked around. Searched every building and home that I found. I saw no shadow, but felt a glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. It felt like heaven and found my bones. And gave me comfort when I feel alone. Now you're gone. I'm alone, I guess it's time to get better Through the pain, I will go Alright guys, so your tour guide of the cabin will be CJ oh. Okay, where do I start? Okay, we'll start over here Oh, right here Here we go Here's our beds Here's where we're gonna sleep Here's the table <laughs> And two chairs Here's the air conditioner there's the door we're giving the water. Yeah, it goes into another cabin. Here's our kitchen. Now we do have a fridge and microwave. Uh, here's our TV. Now, <laughs> maybe flip on the Come lights. this way. Here's our closet. <laughs> At least we got an iron. Where's the ironing board? I don't know. There's an iron, but no ironing board. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to lights. Lights. Vanity. And right over there is the shower and shower. Cooper. This I just turn the light off. Yeah, you're off. Um but anyway, it's small. Oh, yeah, this so, our patio. Our patio, the veranda, the porch. It is well no, it's not covered. <laughs> but And all the stairs. And all the stairs going down to the truck. And at least they got some decent chairs, metal chairs to sit in. Are they decent? Yeah, I'll sit them. I'll grab me a cup of coffee in a little bit and sit in one. Coffee? Look out that way. Oh yeah, that's pretty. But leaves are starting to turn on some trees. Hey, you're in the wrong spot, dude. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> there's the moon. Now, for those of you who don't know, Cumberland Falls, I think, did you read the thing? Is it the only one in the world or only one in the country? I didn't read the thing. Didn't read the thing. <laughs> but, and I don't, I'm trying to go off of memory, but I think is the only falls in the country, maybe the world, we'll say the world, because we can, that has. <laughs> what? In oh. World, let's see. <laughs> that has what is it moon bows moon bows that's right rainbows caused by the moon it's the only falls in the world or we'll say the world that does that the only time it can be seen is full moon which will be thursday unfortunately we won't be here for that so we'll just take a rain check and hopefully one day we'll catch that that's pretty cool but anyways oh update on moon bows they're actually five places in the U.S. you can see it. Oh, okay. Um, and there are two or one other place you can see it in the world, and that is in Zimbabwe. But anyways, there you go. There's your information on moon bows. But uh, I'll be back in a little bit. We'll close the video out shortly. 
Good morning from Cumberland Falls State Park. Beautiful morning. Breezy. Sun come up over there this morning. There it is. There we go. Good lens flare. Um, slept fairly decent in the cabin. The mattresses are kind of... Anyway, they're state park material. Um, we're fixing to go get a little bit of breakfast and then we're going to head up to Daniel Boone and, or well we're gonna to go to Slay Kentucky around Daniel Boone all that stuff and uh, we'll bring that to you as we go um, man we were we resolved last night we got back here we shot that little bit of video we did yesterday um, so today it's going to be a little bit more of the same but we're going to be seeing a lot more stuff um, because we're already here um, yesterday we had to get up here and we saw you know the falls beautiful god that was beautiful it was awesome um it's gorgeous up here there's something me and bill were talking text last night because um, we are staying in the cabin we have service we have really good service here um but like I said in yesterday or last video, ADA of plant, no, this place is not. There may be some ADA stuff that I'm missing. This cabin getting up to is 18 steps, but at least it's steps, guard, you know, handrails the whole nine yards all the way up. No big deal. Managed it. Managed it all weekend. Anyway. Um what else was I gonna say? Anyway, I don't know. I'll come up with something else. Chloe's getting ready. I'm ready. Um, it is breezy this morning. It's a cooler breeze. I think it may be out of the north. But, oh, I know what I was talking about. Me and Bill were talking about this area and um, the gorge area on up ahead where we're headed next. It's just beautiful, beautiful country. Um, and we could be up here for a week and still not touch it all. But anyways, guys, we'll be back. Alright, so we're eating breakfast at the little restaurant here at Cumberland Falls. It's been pretty good. We had catfish yesterday. She had a big old pretzel the size of her head. But it's not bad, but the view, the view is pretty good. So, anyways. All right, guys, we make a side quest out of everything. We are, yeah, well, you can see, we're at the birthplace of Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> In Corbin, Kentucky, on our way up to Slade. So anyway, why not? We're here. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, so we're in Slade, Kentucky. We've been messing around here. I ate back at the little, ate a little dessert. We're gonna try not to get hit by a car. Yeah, try not to get hit by a car. CJ right there. Hey. I recommend Thatcher's barbecue. We ate here when we were here off-roading last time. And while you're here, you gotta come check out music, fat, the Fat Cave and the uh, Pit House that's where they have a bar and such but there's actually a recording studio in the back of this 
uh, record store. It's really freaking awesome, guys. It really is. I got him to show Chloe um, inside the record store or inside the recording studio. He's just blown away with the stuff that's in there. Um, right there is where we stayed the last time we were here. And really nice motel. I just couldn't get a space there this time. So right now we're going to go up to... What's up? Okay, it's unlocked. We're gonna go up to Nada Tunnel, so that's where right, go ahead. So Chloe got some records. Here's the, the hall. Record it's Tyler Childers Purgatory album. This is the album with Feathered Onions, Tattoos, Lady Mate, his like famous ones. And then one of my favorite artists is Mac Miller. So this is his album watching movies with the sound off i think it just recently turned 10 years old too so there you go when he died when 2018 2018 i think but they had some really awesome records they did there. they had a lot of good but records you can't you don't see anywhere no they had a hosier one that is like i think there are only like a hundred left in the u.s you can get why didn't you say something we got it well i have it on cd because oh, the cd is okay. just as rare too oh okay all right, guys, let's go to Nada Tunnel. All right, guys, so this is Nada Tunnel. And not the word, not a tunnel, but Nada Tunnel. Oh, shit. Oh. Beep. You're going to have to back up, dude. You're going to have to back up, dude. You're going to have to back up, dude. You're okay, you're fine. Yeah, you're good. He's about to drive off that damn asphalt. I'm trying not to. This is the only downside to this is you can only, you know, this. So how do you know? Like no one's coming at you. Nope. You look for headlights. <laughs> and right now we're, we're it. Isn't this wild? Yeah. This is an old train tunnel from back to the 1800s. Um, they couldn't use it for trains anymore because the trains would be or wider now. That's why. But that's not a tunnel. Cool. Well, we're back at the cabin. As you can see, sun's going down. Me and Chloe sitting out on the porch for a little bit. And, oh, dollar store update. How many have we seen today? Let me unlock my phone and I'll tell you. But. Uno momento. Six. We've seen six dollar stores today. And that is. We did not double count. So what we passed going one way, we did not recount coming the other way. So you can double that and we saw 12. So but also to add on to yesterday's total, because it wasn't when we- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We forgot to count these and then mom said something. 
we passed three between our house and the interstate because yeah. I started counting after we got on the interstate. So, so yesterday's total was also 12. Yep. And today we saw six. So a lot of dollar there stores. <laughs> um, anyway, we had a beautiful day. It was awesome. It was in the 80s, it's supposed to be yeah, <laughs> tomorrow morning. Uh, we're supposed to be getting chilly. We're supposed to be getting down into the 40s this whole week at home and here I think in the morning it's supposed to be 47 or something like that. I'd have to look. Freezing. Chilly. It's chilly. Falls here. The leaves. I think this since this morning the leaves have changed quite a bit from the time we've left the cabin uh, to getting back. So I'm it's coming south uh, as far as the leaf change uh, tonight it's supposed to get down to 46 degrees we will have the AC on Wind, winds west northwest at 5 to 10 so yeah fall is coming but we're going to throw everything in the truck get up in the morning leave and head our first well our first pinpoint is going to be Bucky's, but <laughs> anything that might be in between there, because I think what we may do, and we'll look at the routes, may either go back out, jump on 75 and go down, which would take us through Rocky Top, Tennessee, Teleco Plains. Uh, 75, just a beautiful drive all itself. Um, or I may look at what kind of highways will get us to Crossville, to Bucky's. Um, not a fan of that, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more on that why I'm not so much a fan of taking all highways everywhere. Um, number one, bathrooms. There's literally hard to find bathrooms in places. I'm nosy, sorry. Um, gas stations, that's another thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of small town gas stations. You have to use them, you have to use them. What I don't like about them is sometimes gas can sit in tanks for a while and not be great. Just have to, that's just one part of the thing. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take a look at it here in a little bit and um, figure out which way we're gonna go. I'll let you know in the morning. But gorgeous day, a beautiful start to the day. It's beautiful ending of the day. It's really not, I mean, it's, it's what is it right now, 80? 76 so it's close to 80 but no humidity slight breeze it's awesome guys this is a beautiful place uh, me and bill talked earlier today and we both decided there is no way in a weekend's time that you can hit all of the gorge area the red red river gorge area there's no way there is no absolute way you can do it if you're a hiker, there's no way you can hike all the trails in a few days, in a couple days. Um, the huge area, Daniel Boone National Forest, runs from northern Kentucky all the way down to the border of Tennessee, and then you have uh, Big South Fork National Forest or National Park, which is just below that. Um, so large area. So if you're always looking for something, want to get somewhere else, my God. It's it's huge, um, so squirrel. Squirrel. Anyway, that's it for the tonight or for today. Sorry. Um, all right, guys. Day three. We're headed home, but we're taking a long way. We're gonna see some pretty cool stuff, but we gotta hit Bucky's and Crossville first. So that means I'm going down 75 to 40 and then cut back towards Nashville, um, which 75 in itself coming out of Kentucky into Tennessee is gorgeous. You have Rocky Top, Teleco Plains and all that. So we may stop some places there, but let me show you real quick behind us. Look at that. If it's not blowing it completely out, look at that. It's gorgeous. You can see mountain ranges way off in the distance you may not be able to see them let me zoom in a little bit closer yeah it's just too bright out this morning but anyway last day last and we're headed home so come with us see what we see 
Let's go. Thank you everybody for watching this last video of me and Chloe doing a daddy daughter trip um, before she's a teenager, before she's an adult, before she goes off to college. Um, proud of her, proud of what she's going to make of herself and can't wait to see where that goes. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Be prepared. See you on the next one. Peace out.